flex on time at Arizona State. Todd Graham pours himself a diet Dr. Pepper and sits down in his Arizona State office. Behind him, several unfolded cardboard boxes lean against a wall. The shelves behind his desk are bare. You can see I've already packed the entire office, the coach said. Nearly a month ago, a sous vice president of athletics Ray Anderson met Graham in this very room, thanked him for his six years and informed him that the university had decided to look for a new football coach. According to Graham, the conversation lasted four minutes, ending with Graham accepting Anderson's offer to coach the Sun Devils in Friday's Hyundai Sun Bowl. Thus began the most awkward transition in sports. As us who introduced new coach Herm Edwards, Graham led the Sun Devils in practice, fought off bitterness and packed up an office he never thought he would leave. This place meant so much to me because I was all in, Graham said. This was it, man. I told my wife, we ain't got to move no more. This is it. And I really got my head kicked in to take this job. It was really pretty rough. Graham had come to Asu in the winter of 2011, leaving Pittsburgh after one season, informing his team through group text message as he flew to the desert. National media ripped him for his job hopping. This exit is different. As Graham recently dined in Scottsdale, a man approached him and thanked him for all he had done. As he stopped for gas one morning, a man extended his hand and said, Thank you. A student at Notre Dame Prep gave Graham's son a letter and asked him to deliver it to his dad. It sits on a table in front of Graham, addressed in a purple envelope that reads, To our coach Todd Graham. Sometimes when you're coaching you only hear the people who are screaming the loudest, said Graham, who turned 53 this month. You are never going to please everybody, but... The support, has been overwhelming to me and my wife. It's really made me feel good about the way we do it. That's why I have a full heart. Since his dismissal, Graham has taken the high road. Instead of bitterness, he has signed it with gratefulness. His faith in God tells him that this has happened for a reason. It has helped power him through the bad days, but it hasn't been easy. At first, Graham admits he was in shock. This was the first time he had been fired in the sport he loved. He struggled sleeping, worried about the futures of those who worked under him, those who relied on him. Graham has insisted that the dismissal came as a surprise, but during a 40-minute interview he suggested that maybe it wasn't. Even with Asu, 7-5, placing second in the Pac-12 South, his future had hung over the program most of the season. According to sources, Graham and Anderson didn't have the best relationship during the four years they worked together. Asked about this, Graham searched for the right words. I don't know, he said. I don't know how to answer that. We didn't spend a lot of time together, but it was very cordial, very friendly. I just let people see what they want. I think time will tell what kind of job we did. Outside his office, Asu has devoted a wall to the program's coaching legends. Dan Devine, Frank Cush, John Cooper and Bruce Snyder are pictured, their accomplishments listed. At least one school official thinks Graham should be added. A case can be made he belongs. Graham's 46 wins rank only behind Cush, 176, and Snyder, 56, in school history. But more than that is the culture he set and the foundation he built. In addition to cleaning up the discipline problems and improving academics, Graham helped design the 118,669 square foot football facility. Nearly every detail includes his touch, down to the couch you're sitting on, Graham said. Not long ago, Graham looked outside and saw people posing for photos next to the Pat Tillman statue that players touch each game as they take the field. That was his idea, too. Since his arrival, Graham had worked to make Tillman the centerpiece of his program. I just relate to him so much, he said. The thing about Pat, and, obviously, what he did for our country giving his life, but really where I connect with him is the competitive spirit that he had. It just activates me in a way that is different. Funny story, a few years back, before the football program had moved into the new facility, 
ASA remodeled the third-floor football offices and the Carson Student Athlete Center on the opposite side of Sun Devil Stadium. A Texas native, Graham admits, because I grew up in God country, I am pretty old school and patriotic. To reflect this, Graham had an American flag painted on the wall with photos of every ASA football player who had served in the military. He called the design, which cost about $7,000. A grateful nation and was proud one day to show it off to Mary Tillman, Pat's mother. Ms. Tillman walks up to the wall and starts looking, and she's an old history teacher, Graham said. She said, this is amazing, it looks incredible, and she's looking and looking and looking. Finally, she turned to Graham. He's not up here, she said. No, 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 Graham said. He's up there. And he looked as well. Nothing. Asu mistakenly had left Pat Tillman off the most important part of the building. I about punched, senior associate athletics director of football, Tim, Cassidy, in the face, Graham said. We had to take it down and put up another one. We laugh about it. When we moved over to this building Miss Tillman walked in and said, Now coach, do I need to look through that? I said, No, he's on there. As he moves on, Graham said he will cherish those stories, those relationships, those traditions. He's also proud of what Asu accomplished on the field. To him, the Sun Devils had only one bad season, which came last year when they failed to qualify for a bowl game. Graham had a chance to reflect on this as he cleaned out his office, taking home one box each night as he left the facility. He packed up the game ball Mike Burkovici threw to Jalen Strong to beat USC. The ball from Asu's win over UCLA that clinched the 2013 Pac-12 South title. The balls from the Notre Dame and Wisconsin wins. The ball from his first bowl win against Navy, and the balls from his four wins against rival Arizona, the last coming this season, which completed a better than expected regular season. I've never talked about anything here but winning championships, Graham said. As a matter of fact, I got in trouble for driving expectations too high. We never have strived for or celebrated mediocrity, but should we celebrate the year we had this year? Absolutely. Graham's not sure what's next. He plans to keep his home in Scottsdale. He plans to keep coaching. He's always wanted to win a Super Bowl ring so maybe he might get a chance in the NFL. At the same time, he wants to be a head coach again. He'll figure it out soon enough. In his office, he's left behind a few items for Edwards. On a table sits a Bob Moran Territorial Cup MVP trophy. In front of the room hangs a Tillman photo and a list of SU Scholar Ballers, the designation given to those who excel in the classroom. Graham also plans to leave a photo of the Rose Bowl trophy but at the moment it has slipped off the frame. I've tried to clean it up, Graham said. Asu leaves for El Paso on Christmas Day. That likely will be the coach's final day in the football facility. Graham admits walking down those stairs a final time might be difficult, but he insists it won't change the way he feels. I've always been committed to every place I've ever been but also in my mind I was ambitious, Graham said. Just like anybody, I wanted to get to a place where I could really, build something, and Arizona State was my at place. That's why I think we did it the right way. I got a full heart because of that. It's all positive. Letter, Todd Graham cleaned up as a football and was fired for it unpopular, as leaders received harsh feedback from fans on Graham's dismissal content. Todd Graham says he's leaving us better than he found it. Contact Doug Haller at Doug.Haller at ArizonaRepublic.com or at 6024444949. Follow him at Twitter.com slash Doug Haller.